Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. So tonight we're going to try something a little different here. I have got a wood burning tool. I had one for quite a while. And uh, originally I bought some wood. FYI. I bought these. I believe off of Amazon. And uh, they were listed as wood. And then when I got them, come to find out they weren't. So I'm actually going to pull these out. And we're going to do some paintings on these at some point. Because they would work for that. They're not pure wood though. But, so the wood burning does not work on them. So I'm going to take those out of there. And we're going to put them with our other wood stuff. Um, I have these little wooden planks. I got them from Dollar Tree. You can pretty much tell that these are wood. It's not just this, whatever that other stuff is, like press board. Uh, I also have a wood panel here. Uh, it is... Doesn't say what kind. It just says wood canvas. Uh, I have that. And then I also have this. Uh, this was eventually going to be a sign of some sort. I just haven't figured out what yet. And I've had it for quite some time. But my thoughts tonight, what I want to try. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to experiment here. I want to try to do a leaf. Cut it diagonally across here. And then I want to try to do a pour over the top of it. And see if what we word burnt still shows through. Don't know if it will or not. And I've seen people do it with hot glue. But that makes a raised surface. So I don't know if a indented surface is going to do it. And maybe it'll take a different paint. Something like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Uh, so we're going to try this. So I'm just going to lightly sketch out a feather going across here. Okay. Going to come down like so. And we're just going to bring out a bunch of these like this. I'm just lightly sketching this out, like I said, guys, because we're going to do most of it with the actual wood burning tool. I just kind of want to get an idea of where it's going to go. I like this. Okay, so my wood burning tool, I'm not proficient with this, guys. I have only played with this a few times. So I have multiple tips. I have like a chisel tip here. I have a blunt tip, like a circle. And then I have like a flat iron tip. And then the tip that's on here right now is actually a like a pencil tip and that's the tip i'm going to try to use for this uh, i've been i've got it plugged in it's been heating up we're going to see here if it's hot enough yet oh nice guys this is going to work a lot better than that other stuff okay yeah Make sure I have the indentions deep enough that the paint will leave a little bit of area here. It's kind of hard when you're going against the grain with this thing. If you stop too long, it leaves an indention here. Probably should be going deeper than that. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it worked out a lot better. Just gotta push hard.
Another thing I thought might be fun would be to try to do this and make a bigger design and try to resin in the center of it in these little grooves. Not these, because you'd have to clearly have bigger grooves than this or better eyes than I do to get it in little grooves like this. But I thought, how fun would that be to try to do something like that? Alright. Told you guys I have a lot of different kinds of craft stuff to do. If there's anything you want to see, pretty much mention it. And if I have it, we'll try it. I hope we're in video, guys. I hope we're in frame here. Keep the cord away from it. time in Florida you smell the smell of wood burnt except for when you go to the beach and have, they have bonfires otherwise <laughs> you don't get fires no wood burning fire this year all right let me see if we can get it to do the same thing this other way let me try right handed and see if that helps there we go Sorry, I'm quiet, guys. I get quiet when I'm working. Leave a comment. Should I play music and just shut up and not talk and just let music play while I'm doing this? You wouldn't have to hear the trains. I feel like I don't watch as many of the videos that have just music. And I don't mind some that are sped up in places, but if I'm watching a tutorial, I'm watching a tutorial because I don't know how to do it. I don't, I don't want to just see you doing it. I want to hear your thoughts, your issues, you know, if things are going smoothly, if things are not working right for whatever reason. I want to know this. I don't want to, and sometimes when you're, you know, when they're got it on the music, it just all looks like everything happens so perfectly. And if you watch one of the artists that actually does it and does like tutorials and watch through it, sometimes things don't always turn out so perfect, you know? They try, it's trial and error, and I kind of want to show my trial and error as well as my successes. <coughs> Alright, so I feel like I need like some little, I don't know if I can get them or not, little wisps here. Okay, here's a couple. Let's see if we can get some with this hand. Part of this, I think, is the grain of the wood. I think if I was going this way, it would be easier. And maybe the, one of these tools is better to use than the other one. But I'm just playing around with this for the first time guys 
I've had it, like I said, I tried it one other time, and I tried it on that other wood, and it didn't work, and then I got this, so I thought, well, I'm going to try it now. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to put? Let's put something on here. Uh, I do feel the grain, so, I mean, the... Uh, yeah, I can feel it here, so maybe it'll, my idea will work here, we'll see. Um, decide if I'm going to put something else here or if I just want to leave it like this. Let's do something like this. Turn it off. I turned it off. Yeah, I think I might have turned it off, guys. Sorry. Maybe not. Okay, that says on, so that should be on. We'll give it a minute or two to see if it heats back up. So, how was everybody's holiday? I hope it was great. You ready for the new year? I'm looking forward to it. I think things are going to be amazing. Oh, by the way, guys, um, 50 subscriber giveaway. I did a, in the community tab, guys, if you're interested, in the community tab, I did a poll that asked what you would like to win. And um, so far, I've gotten, hang on, let me let the train go by. Then we will discuss this. Uh, so far, the request I got was for a fluid art painting. So, uh, if you want to be if you want to be entered into the drawing for the fluid art painting for the giveaway, in the comment section below, comment yes, please. I will message you back with a number. I'm going to give, today is Wednesday, Thursday, today's Wednesday, no, yeah, today's Wednesday, <laughs> sorry, Wednesday. I'm going to give until next Wednesday, and on next Wednesday, anybody that has commented and has gotten a number, I'm going to take the numbers, and I'm going to put them all, there's only, I don't have 52 subscribers, so, uh, at the most, I'll have 52 names, I will put them in a, 52 numbers, I won't have names, I'm just going to have numbers, I'm going to put them in a bowl, or a bag, I've got a paper bag, I'll take it to work, and I will have a random customer draw a number. The person that wins, you will get to, I will reach out to you and you will get to choose what kind of, and colors you want. If you want a ring pour, if you want a uh, bloom, if you want a Dutch pour, if you want a balloon kiss painting, if you want a swipe, if you want it to be just left up to me, and at that point I will make a video of me doing your winning painting. And I will ship it to you free of charge, no matter where you're at. Um, but yeah, so comment below, yes please, if you want to be entered into the drawing. And I will message you back, like I said, with a number. Yeah, it's, on, it's back on now, okay. I will message you with a number. And we will go from there. Next Wednesday, guys. So next Wednesday, anybody who has commented, yes please. That number will be put into a drawing to win a free painting. So, I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. I am trying to get to a thousand, guys. I really, really want to get to a thousand. I want to be able to stay home and do this. And the more videos, 
people watch, the more subscribers you get, the closer you get to that. And I just turned it up again. It's the only drawback with this push button thing over here on the side. One of these in a circle here. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna let this go off for a minute. I'm gonna put this away. I'll put you guys on pause. I'm gonna get this set up on something, and we are going to try pouring over the top of this and see what it does. So I'll put you guys on hold. I'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay, we're back. So for anybody that ever wants to know, what do you do with your acrylic skins after painting? I mean, what do you do with your, the pour after the painting? Sometimes, I scrape it up, and I make new colors of paint. Other times, I do them on most of my paintings, the smaller ones anyway, I do on these, they're cutting mats from Dollar Tree. And when the paint dries, oop, I got a piece here that's not even dry yet. It's been really cold down here, so. But when it dries, you do this. And you have these beautiful pieces of acrylic skins that you can use in so many other ways. You can put them in jewelry. If you saw one of my videos, I put them on a necklace. Uh, you can put them in ornaments. You can put them in, in anything. Any, you can use them for so much different stuff. Uh, you can Mod Podge them onto like a wooden box, or I could even Mod Podge them onto that wooden plaque. And you could make different colors and different styles based on your skins. You could do a whole mosaic of nothing but skins. Cut them out in different shapes and put it together like a puzzle. Uh, so many different things you can do, and it comes off of here so easy. It just peels right off, and it's very therapeutic. Actually, peeling this stuff off of here is very nice. Now, like I said, this piece here is not quite dry, so the top of it's a little damp. But I'm going to peel it off of here anyway because I'm going to pour on top of this. I'm just going to lay it over here on this box. I'm going to move these out of the way. This is the ornament that I did. This was on a Dollar Tree wooden ornament. And I didn't tape the back or anything because I wasn't really planning on keeping it, but I'm kind of liking it, so I may do something with the back eventually. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to put this up for next year. Really love how it turned out. Didn't warp. These Dollar Tree, as long as you don't go crazy with it, and I don't use a lot of water in my paint when I mix it. It's mainly Floetrol and my pouring medium, which is glue, and a little bit of water, so it's not a whole lot of water in it. If it was strictly water, the board would probably warp. Not 100% on that, but I would guess. There would be a better chance of it happening. Did you guys notice I have a nice clean work area? I cleaned my area off today. So I can make my videos. Actually clean my art room up pretty good. Just so I could do this. Been wanting to do it anyway and been working and new things in life happening. Looking forward to 2023. I think it's going to be a good year for me. I feel like my channel is going to take off. My life's going great. I'm happy. It's a good thing. Life is good. Alright. Like I said, guys, I don't have a clue if this is even going to work. But we're going to try it. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to do a flip cup. Make it easy. Easy breezy. I'm going to do a little flip cup. don't even really need a whole lot of paint for that because no bigger than what this is. And I'm going to pour a little bit of purple in here. And I'm going to pour some gold in here. Shake it up first. And then I'm going to do this blue, shake it up, I think I might do a red, I 
Okay, we'll do it again. We'll do it red. Yeah. All right. So, I'm not even gonna bother look at them. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna put this up on little cups. I think I will put it up on some little cups here, so that way. I tilt it or whatever. It's not sitting in paint. If it happens to turn out beautiful. And I want a resin over the top or something. I don't want it to be all gross. There we go. Can we see? Let me make sure we're in the camera. We are in camera. Let's move up just a hair. We are in camera. Yay! I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Zoom in a little bit more here. There we go. There we go. All right. So, I'm just going to take this cup, and I'm going to flip it upside down right in the center. Tap it just a little. And let the paint run out from up top. We're going to give it a minute and see what it does. Ooh, I'm getting cells. Oh, do you see that? Alright, let's lift her up and pour her out. Alright. Oh, worst case scenario, even if the leaf doesn't show up. Wow. This looks like it's going to be really pretty. Alright. So, I don't want to lose everything that's around here on the edge so I'm gonna pour a little bit of white just around the edge and then we can let the white roll off but I just kind of want to use it to give the paint something to flow into so I'm gonna pour a little bit of this all the way around the edge here there we go Better get a paper towel handy because I already know I have no gloves on doing this, and I don't mind. But I got a shirt on that I really don't want to get stuck all over, and I will wipe it all over. And I already know. All right, let's tilt here. Okay, I'm gonna go back that way. Really slow. Okay, now let's come back this way. I'll try this corner down here. I don't want to lose all that red. I kind of like that red there. And my purple. This way. I'm losing my red. I'm losing my red here. Let's tilt back just a little bit. See if we can get any of it to come back. Yeah, there we go. We're getting it to come back. The red and the gold. And the purple. I can see where the feather is, and I can see it kind of showing up, but I feel like I've got too much paint that it's filling the indention completely in. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, you don't see the wood burning anywhere, but it's so 
Oh, all right, cool. When I'm tilting it, I can kind of see it. But like right now, just looking at it, the paint's pretty level. Now, I don't know. It may, it may show up when it dries. So that may be a possibility. We shall see. Uh, if it's not, then hey, we learned. We learned something new. Still like the painting. I'm gonna torch it. Let's see if I can get a few more cells out of it. Who knows? Maybe it'll, maybe it'll bring the other up to the front. We don't know. We'll see what happens. So we're gonna give it a light torch here. Purple out and ooh, that white's pretty. All right, really pretty colors here, guys. So even if it doesn't doesn't show up, I really like these colors. I really like how this is looking. So I'm not upset by this. I just know that that's not something that <laughs> that works in that aspect. Now another way that I thought about doing this, and I may try another one of these. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought about taking and thinning down some of my acrylic ink, and then just brushing that over when it's all said and done. Pretty sure that'll work because that would be like a stain. But I just wanted to see if I poured here. If you would see anything in the pour and like I said I really don't see anything because my paint's still too thick on top of the canvas I mean on top of this little board here I could try to pour a little bit more off but I feel like it's gonna run off a little bit anyway so we're gonna give this a chance to dry uh, we'll come back with the dried results and see what happens uh, here in a little bit when it starts drying a little bit more and if not, we'll call it good. We'll say it's a just a nice painting. Alright, we'll be back in a few, guys. The next day. Okay, guys, so welcome back. So I wanted to show you. You can see the feather in it. But the paint has spilled in some. So what I thought I might do is just take a little bit of black paint. A little bit of black acrylic paint and put it on a paper towel. Could even use my finger probably and do it, but I thought I'd rub it and then wipe off the excess. So let's try this. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we're gonna wipe. All right, I'm going to do the whole thing right quick, and then we'll wipe off the excess. All right, let's see what we get here. This other side didn't doesn't show as easy or doesn't show as much. Let's say that can't say easy. It doesn't show as much. But this is working. Let me do another another little deal of it. Right in here. Rub it in really good. How we doing tonight, guys? I'm doing just fine. 
Glad to be here with you guys. Finishing up this video. For such a little bitty video, it's a very long video. But it's just something I wanted to try. Alright, well, kind of shut up, guys. I think maybe if I would have went deeper with the wood burning, uh, it might have worked better. I don't even know really what I was trying to accomplish. I was trying to be able to see the leaf or the feather, I mean, through the through the acrylic pour, which you can. Um, but I was just trying to enhance the leaf a little bit. So this is what our final product is. Um, I do want to try this again. I've got some more wood and I want to, want to try, like I said, do, maybe going deeper with the grooves and trying a different pattern. Um, my little dark corners up here actually turned out pretty good. These two little offset corners. Because the holes, I burnt those quite a bit deeper. So, that's it guys. Let me know what you think. If you have any thoughts or suggestions on how how this could be leveled up um don't be afraid to try new things that's the whole thing you know if it would have worked great yay did it work great no is it bad no it's not horrible it's not great it's not what i wanted completely but it does tell me that with a little bit of fine tuning it will work so i appreciate you guys watching hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up comment like, subscribe, share. Uh, guys, we're giving away a uh, fluid art painting of some sort. Um, if you're interested in winning the painting, just comment yes in the description box. In the comment section of any of these paintings for the next week. And then I will, on next Wednesday, today is Thursday, on next Wednesday, we will have the, uh, I will, Take all the numbers from everybody that I give a number to and put them in something and have somebody draw it. Uh, if I work that day, I'll do it that day. If not, I'll do it the day after. But I will reach out to the winner and you get to pick your colors, what style you want. If you want a bloom, if you want a Dutch pour, if you want um, the flower uh, where you pour it over the bottom of the bottle. If you want a split cup pour, whatever. That will be up to you. And your colors. And then I will make a video showing what the winner is receiving. So, like I said, if you guys are interested, just comment yes in the description box. Bye, guys.